would like to explore with you the history of the Mediterranean noodle. Well, we would all associate uh, pasta in general with Italy, and although in uh, Italy they might have had different shapes of pasta already since Roman times, the long noodle probably comes from the Middle East. Now, how did the noodle arrive in Italy? Probably it came with North Africans and Middle Easterners, Arab, uh, Arabs, to uh, Sicily. And uh, in fact, Sicily, during the time of the Emirate of Sicily in the 9th century, and from then on, was a center of pasta making and even exported it to all over Italy and other parts of the Mediterranean. And this kind of noodle, which was basically a little bit like, like tagliatelle, uh, was called itria, the itrian pasta. And this is a shape of pasta that we also have from other Middle Eastern sources, for example, uh, Egyptian and other North African countries. And this is what I would like to do with you today. So first, the basics, what we have here. This is semolina, and uh, in this case, this is actually semolina from Khorasan wheat, which is an ancient, an old Middle Eastern uh, kind of wheat, so this fits perfectly. We have salt, we put some in here, and we have water. I mean, these are the three basic ingredients that would still be used in southern Italian pasta today. I say southern Italian because the north of the country uses much more egg pasta than the south. The typical Apulian pasta, for example, never uses egg. And um, there is a uh, shape of pasta from Salento, the south of Puglia, that is called tria, which is exactly what we are doing now. Itria, tria is the same word. So this kind of noodle has survived in exactly the same way also in the, the Apulian culinary tradition, only um, that the condiments will be different, but this we will see later. First, I knead this dough thoroughly. Once this is done, the dough will need to rest for at least half an hour, maybe better an hour, before we can shape it. Now that this dough is nice and smooth after its rest, we make portions, put one part away, and the other part we roll out as thin as possible using lots of flour to be sure that it doesn't stick. Now we put enough flour on top to make sure it really won't stick afterwards and we fold it down for cutting.
the second half. Now we let those Itria noodles to dry a little for about half an hour. And meanwhile, we start boiling the water. They're boiled as other pasta as well in uh, salt water. And um, meanwhile, we can talk about what they would have been served with. Because certainly not tomato sauce, as the tomato, as we all know, was not known yet in Europe. But, um, well, even the, the modern uh, tria noodles from Salento, they are eaten mainly with chickpeas. Now, a uh, early medieval physician, uh, Isaac ben Salomon, he was a Jewish physician who was working in Kairuan, which is now in Tunisia, and he lived uh, roughly from 832 to 932, and yes, he apparently got 100 years old. So he proposed to have this kind of noodles with a simple sauce made from good olive oil, some cooked chicken, salt and pepper. I would also add some herbs, maybe some parsley simply, because he says that um, this is a very easy to digest dish, which is excellent for the sick to recuperate and to regain strength. Now, this is the ready ball pasta. I just boiled it for a couple of minutes because it's fresh pasta and doesn't need much. Now, after the recipe uh, of um, Isaac Ben Zolomo, we just add some olive oil, boiled chicken in pieces, some pepper, and uh, parsley. Voila. Here we have Itria noodles that will help the sick to recuperate and regain strength.